the propagation of lies is hardly a new event. The propagation of lunacy and stupidity is also not new. What is new is the ability using the media of political establishments to repeat rubbish over and over again through all sorts of different media, particularly such as the education system, to give people the impression that lunacy and criminality are actually some sort of eternal truth. Things need to be put in a clear perspective. The current world order is carrying out the largest mass murder of life since the Permian extension 250 million years ago. This is something that is fundamentally wrong, is fundamentally crazy, is fundamentally sick. A world order that carries out such crimes is fundamentally sick. These are realities. Now, in dealing with these realities, a proper frame of reference needs to be developed. It's the respect for nature. It's the respect for the biological foundations of life. This is a point of view that is diametrically opposed to the current world order. Now, in fighting back, in mobilizing people to combat this evil, it is not possible to operate on a purely rational level. Things are so screwed up, things are in such a mess, that simply trying to sort out the blizzard of information purely by rational means is not possible. What is necessary is to relate to people on an instinctual basis the sort of collective unconscious discussed by Jung. What does this mean? This means that deep inside all people is an awareness of what's real and what's not real. It goes back thousands of years, it goes back to nature. And there's an instinctive awareness of what's right and what's wrong, what's real and what's not real. And this has been deadened, this has been perverted by the education system, and by the corporate media. And a person needs to filter a lot of this garbage out of their head in order to think clearly. You need to get back in touch with nature, get back in touch with the natural world. Now, for a lot of people, nature has been so thoroughly destroyed that they can't even find much of nature. <laughs> There's not that, that, that much of it left. So, uh, for a lot of people, getting close to nature is going to be watching a nature video or something like that. I mean, that's where we're at, and things are continuing to get worse. But in laying the groundwork for a return to reality, this kind of thinking is essential. And those who want to fight for reality fight for truth, need to operate on this level. That's why art and music are important. These things awaken inside someone a subconscious reality. It is that subconscious reality that is the source of hope for the world. And trying to combat the tidal wave of sickness that is promoted by the world order as, as, a, as a false pretension of traditional values is hopeless unless you can communicate with people on an instinctive basis and reawakening primitive ideas within them. This is the key to reform. It's a bit hard to define and we are working on trying to define it more clearly. But this is the key to reform. And as this message is put out, as the current world order collapses, a return to real traditional values is going to take place all around the world. That is a key point of the work that we are trying to do.